it's it's common these days for people to talk about, you know, loving God or loving Jesus, but not really loving the church or really his people. Or, you know, I love God, but I just don't like organized religion, you know, and that's perfectly understandable because there have been so many instances where particular churches or people in churches have really hurt people. So a lot of people, uh, when they think about, you know, loving Jesus and his people, they don't really love his people because they've had really hard experiences. And so it absolutely is possible for someone to love Jesus, but not his people yet. But that's not what we're called to. And I think when I meet somebody who's in that place, I want to help them to see how that's a little bit illogical. And here's why. When we are adopted by Jesus into his family, just like a, a regular adoption. So if my, me and my wife adopted a child, uh, that child, when it, when it becomes a part of our family, they not only have a new relationship with us and that we're a father and mother to that child, they also have a relationship to my son and to my current daughter, right? They, they now have a brother and a sister and they can't just claim my name like, oh, those are my parents and have my last name and ignore their brother and sister. There have been a lot of relationships that have changed. So that when we become Christians, there's an identity change and that now we belong to Jesus when his family. But also there's an identity change in that now we have a lot of brothers and sisters and we cannot claim Jesus and then ignore the brothers and sisters that we now have. That's part of what it means to be in the family. And of course, there are a ton of commands about how we're supposed to interact with each other as family. So I often understand what people are when they say that, but I want to help them see the inconsistency of it, especially that one of the main things that Jesus, who's adopted us, calls us to is to love one another, not to forsake the gathering of ourselves together, you know, not to you know, close our heart towards one another. Uh, and if we really love Jesus, then we're going to grow in our love for his people because those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Uh, our love for Jesus shows up in love for his people.